going in the Tucson sector, which is where we are. And you see the security camera footage of the southern border fence. On the right is Mexico, the left is United States. And you see dozen of migrants making a break for the fence, some going under the wall, some trying to climb over. One lone Border Patrol cruiser on the other side trying to handle all of that. It just goes to show how incessant the search is down here and how in many cases law enforcement is outnumbered. ...is that the border is open and can be easily crossed. A message that he says needs to change. But the number that has many in law enforcement most concerned is the number of known gotaways, migrants who have eluded law enforcement. Over 445,000 in total this fiscal year with the Tucson, Arizona, and Del Rio, Texas sectors leading the way. The cartel is systematically using these massive numbers of migrants to push them across the border to overwhelm Border Patrol and local law enforcement. And then your fentanyl, your cocaine, your heroin, and the terrorists that you've heard so much about lately are coming across through the gaps. And there are reports that the Department of Homeland Security is looking into transporting migrants from border towns like where we are right now to more inland communities such as Los Angeles uh, and Houston. And the premise behind that is to try and relieve some of the stress that is on some of these communities down here. But our understanding talking to some NGOs in the area is that that's an idea that's being considered and floated but not finalized yet. So first, uh, I will tell you this. I wish we weren't sending anybody uh, anywhere. And the only reason why we're having to put people on buses and send them to Washington, D.C. is because the Biden administration is not only not doing their job, but the Biden administration is apprehending people who cross the border illegally and then dumping them in cities that have no capability of handling them whatsoever. And it's those cities and small towns along the Rio, Gra Rio Grande and along the border that need our help to move those migrants elsewhere. And so we're doing our part to try to help our local communities. Uh, and uh, the, the, we are, we're hoping that meaningful parts of the funding will continue to come from donations. People can help out by uh, going to an online site, uh, borderbus.texas.gov, to contribute. But the bottom line is this. Uh, we will continue to alleviating the costs that the local governments would otherwise have to be responsible for had it not been for the Biden administration's open border policies. And the American people have figured it out. There's a reason why more than seven out of 10 of our fellow citizens think the country's on the wrong track. It's because it is under the Biden administration. The greatest country in the world is now more than 75% of our, of our fellow citizens think we're headed in the wrong direction because of all the bad policies they've done.